The bucket challenge has faded somewhat from the public eye, but there's a new version of it sweeping across the Arab world. It is the ISIS bucket challenge. Take a look at this video and you'll get an idea of what it's about. So you see there one of the ISIS flags being burned. Um, it was started uh, last weekend by three uh, young uh, Lebanese men. They're calling it the hashtag burn ISIS flag challenge. And they're hoping for people in the region to burn the flag to show their opposition to ISIS and its policies. And don't show your face when you burn the flag. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever you do. Again, it seems, as always with media coverage, when they focus on something, and this is certainly a big story and should be focused on, you sense that it's taking over the entire region and there's nothing standing up against it. We just found some stuff through a Huffington Post article about sort of an effort to make fun of ISIS and how many people there are in the Mideast who are doing that, one of whom, uh, an Iraqi uh, economics expert, here who appears to have stolen quite liberally from the Young Turks, so it's worth mentioning. We'll get to that. Uh, on this ISIS bucket challenge, um, I love it. Uh, now, there's a couple of issues. Uh, some of the people in the Lebanese government are very concerned that it's going to cause sectarian strife, okay? So they say the sternest punishment for, uh, must be meted out for the flag burners for their insult to the Islamic religion and its symbols. Now, the reason they say that is not because they're in favor of ISIS, but because uh, the uh, Shahada is uh, in the flag. So what you see, the Arabic writing there, is the, one of the most sacred things in Islam when you recite that there is only one God and his uh, prophet is Muhammad, okay? So you're also kind of burning that as you burn the ISIS flag? So they're like, one, it could lead to sectarian strife, two, you know how touchy Muslims are, right? Yes. So, you know, you burn that, and people are like, oh my God, I'm gonna behead you and I'm on your side. So, but the reason I love it is because I, they're standing up to these guys, right? And it's, it appears to be people who are, I my understanding and reading of the several articles that I read is that they're secular, uh, younger guys in the Middle East saying, screw these guys, we're not with these guys, they don't represent Islam, uh, they don't get to appropriate Islamic uh, symbols and language like that, and we're not with them. I mean, I, Sean Hannity should be creaming in his pants over this, right? Because every night he's like, why don't they denounce them? Why don't they denounce them? They're burning their flag. You should be ecstatic. But why don't they denounce them? <laughs> Degrade, denounce, dehumanize, demoralize. <laughs> and divorce. And divorce. <laughs> Your mic would have been cut after the first second, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. So there is out. some comedy, which is good. So let me do that real quick. Let me take start with graphic 25, because you mentioned at, at Lebanon, and before you put it up, there's a, an, it's described as an onion-style site in Lebanon, which already amuses me, because uh, whatever, I'm ignorant, I think only Americans do everything, so I'm always stunned when they're like, oh look, there's a funny person in Lebanon. Like, I get it, I'm an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> but I also think I'm probably not alone, and it's possible that some other, so it's, this is... No, it, the Onion site in Lebanon is called the shawarma.com. <laughs> the shawarma.com. Mm -hmm. so, uh, uh, so anyway, the idea is, uh, and again, as you mentioned, ISIS has staged incursions there. Uh, one news site uh, uh, joke, joked that the militants would be unable to know what to do when they got into Lebanon. Let's see, graphic 25 that they would take over, but we do not yet understand the logic of Lebanon. I mean, who the fuck do we overthrow around here? Because <laughs> Lebanon has such a legendarily uh, complex government. Uh, then there was a, a hashtag, like the way they do with the, the Midnight Show oh, here. Yeah. There was a hashtag of ISIS movies. Uh, uh, and Amro Ali wrote this, girls just want to have fundamentalism, ISIS movies. Not bad. It's more it's a, of a song. It's more of a song, but it's still, I get it. I, I'd be, I wouldn't mind posting that. Uh, go to 22. <laughs> That's funny on two grounds. Kill Bill, kill everyone. Also, the guy who wrote it looks like Amir, one of our producers. It looks exactly like Amir. <laughs> uh, and then 23. It's fine too. It's just uh, it's Zalots from Hassan Hassan, which is funny. Um, uh, uh, then there was also uh, 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 this uh, and another online satire. Twitter's used mocked up uh, this uh, um, uh, a mock up of a American magazine, <laughs> Jihadi Vogue. <laughs> why khaki is back? <laughs> Eight reasons why mustaches are out. <laughs> 
Oh, that's funny. They don't go with the mustache. What's up with that? Is that like some sort of Che Guevara uh, look? Neck beards. Make your buddies feel <laughs> special. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, that's good stuff. So I liked uh, I liked uh, Jihadi Vogue, and then finally uh, there was uh, this, which was uh, uh, from uh, uh, well, we'll just put up the tweet there below the Baghdadi's choice, mm -hmm. right? Because that's when he let the watch slip that he was wearing this fancy watch. Except that exact graphic, Baghdadi's choice, which you'll see here. He acts like he thought of it is taken directly from you, Jank, a couple of weeks ago, and. Ali made this graphic. Yeah, yeah, wow. And now it's spreading throughout the Middle East. Except, That's go, super to, cool. except go back to graphic 26. He takes out, he, they blacked out the TYT part. <laughs> uh huh. That's all right. I mean, they shouldn't. They shouldn't. Next time you should keep the Young Turks in there. But that's kind of cool. But nonetheless, that whole idea, that Baghdadi's choice, that's good stuff. That's, high, that's good yeah. comedy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, of course, as with all fundamentalists and extremists, massive hypocrite, in the middle of a sermon, al-Baghdadi sh flashes his bling. It was a, I, we couldn't tell if it was a Rolex or some other $15,000 watch. I love that after the show, somebody tweeted to us and said, now, to be fair, he might have just taken that off a dead person. <laughs> <laughs>